next to the beautiful San Francisco Bay, 40 miles from where Candlestick Park once stood. We're at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Two of the NFL's best starts challenging each other here. Off we go in a week four showdown. And this is taken in the end zone, but not returned, so they'll take it out to the 30. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. No progress on first down. And that'll bring up second and ten. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic. Finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. in the game today, they are so doggone good. Not only are they good at getting home and sacking the quarterback, look at this. He was fighting the blocker. He keeps his eyes on the ball, times it perfectly, and he forces a pass breakup. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Daniels. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to look for it. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. You know, once a play breaks down, you're just looking for a running lane, and then you're looking for that first down marker. He found one of the two, but the defense and that effort swarming after him it denies the first down. The Patriots punt team coming out to the former six-rounder Bryce Barringer to do the honors. And I imagine they were hoping they wouldn't need to bring him out so soon into this game. Um, hold them for something. Oh, let's charge the, the mic up too. <laughs> Might as well, right? <laughs> Might as well get from my way. Hello. Oh. Difficult, technical, technical difficulties, difficulties. Oh. Yes. 
Yeshua. Well, they don't call for Facebook for nothing, Brock. Fans numbering 70,000 strong have made the trek to Santa Clara. And they're ready to cheer on their 49ers here at Levi Stadium. Two of the NFL's best starts challenging each other here. Off we go in a week four showdown. He's going to bring this one out. And he gets crushed by a big hit. Oh, right at the 25 to end that return. They came in before he could find the target okay. and he has to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Throwing once again on second and ten. Oh, this shit fun. That's it. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Got a man over the middle, complete. Decent game here, but short of the first. Looking quickly here. Oh, they're going for this. He's on the move. They hit him for five yards on fourth down and get the successful conversion. You know, that's one of those old mental role plays right before the snap. You know, if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustments and go get the first down. Looking for, and the 49ers get there and take him down. Offense up to the line pass. Another try following the sack. He picks up 28 on the play. And the Patriots will have a first down. Offense executing early. New set of downs at the 38 yard line. Now Daniels to throw. Flush down out to his left. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide in practice for moments just like that. Actually, practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice game on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. An all-around tough play for him. Took a shot on the release and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we called them alligators. One alligator. Two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You love a huddle? Take it really good. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. He's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. Daniels back to throw. Escapes the pocket. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Second 
They go play action. Buys time, rolling right. And the coverage is too good there. They didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. You hear so many programs all around the league talk about it's all about the ball. All about the ball. Well, discretion is better for the dollar in a lot of cases. Right there, he understood it's all about the ball, and they're not going to risk a turnover. Why is this? Throwing in the middle. From the gun on third down. And that's always going to pass for us. Chelsea Turret leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Joey Sly out for the Patriots field goal try. This is going to be a 32 yarder from the left hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. I never saw a play here that ended with the field goal. It was always a touchdown that you won. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them a lead. And no return is this is going to be a touchback. And with a new kickoff rule starting this year, the ball only comes out to that 20 yard line. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Let's go. Here's a jam up the middle. And the plunge of the gut yields nothing there. Call it no game on that run, and they face second and ten. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as this offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. He'll get this one off to his running back complete. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure not just a quarterback. When you have a trusty running back over the middle of the field, they can pick up 10 down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. It's after plays like these, Kate, I love to study the body language. What is it offense doing after getting stuffed inside on a run like that? And more importantly, how much does it energize that defense? He's got it at the 12. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So it's changing possession here on the punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Get this drive started. First and ten. Let's go down. Six and seven. Throwing up the play fake here. He's gonna push one deep down the right. He had a ball, but a complete defensive play to Jordan Lewis. Incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Polk. So that brings up second down. Defender's not going to be thrilled. The catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's see how the guy knows who brought the money and cost him that catch. He did not catch that, bro. That's a fake. That's a fake ass catch. Second quarter, it's Patriots football. They're looking at a borderline give me third down here. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. And there's a man there, it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. Fred Warner, take over as he reports his 10th career INT. A lot of defenders have got some offense in the background, <laughs> and it's been my life experience that they'll tell you about it. And right there, he put it on display. He brought in the pick and instantly became a runner, searching for the open field to add a little something-something to the return. First down, ball to 36. Why is he not handed a comma? Why he's not handed at all? It's easy to see that the confines of the boot game that was not the right read. And you have seen him absorb yet another way to begin to play. You never want him to take unnecessary shots throughout this game. Oh, wow. Okay, they're saying he's out of bounds. Didn't get both feet. Didn't get both feet. 
the best of the best. They just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in, but not a balance. Oh, he puts some heat on this deep ball. That's the side. And he drives this ball into the six. They lay off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. From the red zone now. Completed here's McCaffrey. And they've got him behind the line for a big ball. I know coordinated quarterback going to be upset with that first down because you call a screen first, you're thinking it's a schedule. Even a minimal game to stay on pace, but instead, it's a touchdown. 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 Touchdown.
It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They'll run here on first down. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Here's Richardson. Set it into running back screen. Why the fuck is no one? Alright, look at the team back. Oh, that one. The defense calls a timeout. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. Shotgun snap. Look at this throw. This one's all day on the left side. And he's going to be stopped at the 17 yard line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways. Defensively, in the league, people are just not hitting as much in training camp. You're not tackling as much as they get to in the league. You can make a play in the league for you. You can just like that. I promise you, it's a good one for all. Anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score a six, you only come away with three points. Not what you were looking for with the ball. Find some space, he's past the 30. Crosses his midfield and he's still going. Oh, I don't think so. Wow. He had everyone wow. making six before they finally get to him and stop that return. Fuck. I know we all wanted to see him finish that score. His teammates certainly did as he was rolling down the field. But this offense is sitting down and say thank you kindly and try to go finish the touchdown off themselves. The throw is caught. Thank you for the fuck. I know I can sound like a broken record when I talk about timing. Getting the ball on time and on rhythm. These outcuts are so imperative. The best of them make it look so easy. Here's the Thank you, fuckers. Thank you. Let's go. 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 let us go this is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of the ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alters that throw.
So not an enviable spot here. They come up on third and very long. Now they'll throw out of the gun. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he's got it down to the 30 before going out. San Francisco calls his second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it's a three to make lead as it extends to seven. Okay, what do you hear as a kicker and quarterbacks are similar? They want to get into rhythm. No better way to feel good than get into that rhythm. And start a game two for two as a kicker. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. This is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Looking to throw. He beams one deep right side. And that's incomplete. We've got a flag down, and there was contact. But is this going to go against the offense? So we're halfway through this contest from Santa Clara, California. The hometown 49ers out in front. Now we're on to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman ready to bring us the EA Sports Halftime Report. All yours, Coach, take it away. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's a return from the seven. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. We've got first down from the 31. The Caffrey running between the tackles. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. That's into the hands of John. to throw Daniels this one finds Bolt and he'll be brought down here at the 23 yard line big gainer here as he picks up 20 and that's a New England first down <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about why worry about three downs when you need only one move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards Daniels back to throw it is cut left side. And they get this down to the seven yard line. A dose of the hurry up offense here. First down from the red zone. Getting out to his left. And he makes the catch on the sideline. Oh, but they call it out of bounds. This close to six. A little bit of chaos, right? I mean, play breaks down, trying to find a connection and get on the same page, just couldn't do it. I'll tell you this, though, and what I do like 
is you live to play another down. You don't risk the interception, and you throw it out of bounds. Throwing it again here. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots start the second half with some needed points. Joey Sly on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the 40 yard line. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Drive starts out with a first and 10. The motion man right. It's a 21 yard gain. And that's a 49 yard first down. Constantly about that creativity to play for. The name of the game is putting the ball in the hands of your best. The playmakers creating matchups for them to take advantage. And this time, not as a receiver, but as a runner. That is job well done. On first down, they'll run. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Schlerer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says, if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. And he's going to get stopped right around the 25 yard line. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains, and that is one disheartening look on that defense. They stick with McCaffrey, and the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Rifles it, and it's on the money on the slant. Nice game, 13 yards as it goes up a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Brian close to the eight. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. They rip off a big check of field and it sets him up with first and goal. I'm not sure, Kate. I'm not sure, you're not sure. The building is not sure how you can lose the biggest eligible receiver on the field. That's exactly what the just did. They'll try and punch it in. And he gets in. Touchdown. The 49ers lengthen the lead at the end of the third. On his Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. have it on the tee as they kick it away here. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Daniels now. 
That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing now, Daniels. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Now Daniels to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he gets this forward to the 19. Working quickly here. Working inside the red zone. That pass complete to Osborne. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Daniels. <laughs> this one's caught. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. He'll throw it yet again. He's on the move. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Offense up to the line fast. They'll send him up the middle. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The Patriots make it a one-score game. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's down to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. And it flies over the end zone and out of play. In the past, it's a touchback to the 25. The new rules starting this season, Brock, so it's now going to be at the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Trying an inside give now with McCaffrey. And he takes this across. Nope, oh, beg your pardon. They're going to spot him right at the 35-yard line. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length. It may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Going run again with McCaffrey. Along the sideline, past midfield. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and he gets him a first down. Not right there. That will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down. He got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Back to the well again. What a hit. He gets flattened to the ground. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. You gain that kind of yards in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Set it down. Pretty obvious this defense. They need more people than 
of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. We've reached the two-minute warning in Santa Clara. 49ers feeling lucky with a seven-point lead. They've got first down from the 31. Handoff headed left to McCaffrey. Driving across the 15-yard line. And he's taken down just in time at the two. Motioning left. Taps it quick to the receiver coming across. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers take a 13-point lead. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The 49ers have it on the tee as they kick it away here. His return starts at the five. And he's walloped just as he gets across the 25. What a hit. He's down shy of the 30. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Throwing now. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. Clock working against him here as they hurry to that line. Now to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Patriots try to hustle everyone up to the line. Here he is to throw. as you can get with just an exciting incompletion. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back on track. To throw! And that was probably their last gasp. It's intercepted! Picked off by Fred Warner! And the 49ers get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. They don't connect there, and now just three seconds showing on the clock. George Kittle, the intended receiver. So second down coming up. Oh, they're going to pass it here. Open receiver, cut. So the 49ers take the 